Well, football season is just marching right along. It's already week three of high school football, and it's time to choose yet another band of the week. This week, it's the Battle of the Heights. NBC4's Christine Varconi joining us now with who's in the running for the band of the week title. Christine? All right, will our band be Franklin Heights or Grandview Heights? Grab your phones or head to the computer because it is time to decide which school's halftime show you want to see stream live tomorrow night. On the southwest side, they are blasting off in a salute to Ohio's rich space exploration history during the Franklin Heights High School halftime show. Our show's called One Small Step. It's for Apollo. Everybody's going to take one small step, like the one small step for man. And it's really spacey. <laughs> cool. Back on Earth, another salute at Grandview Heights High School. A fitting patriotic tribute to America. We're just a band that uh, uh, our main goal is to just entertain and give back to our community. Both schools united by wanting to pay homage to those who have shown bravery. Also united by the quest to put on a good show that they want to share with all of Central Ohio Friday night. Just be a good show, good environment. And our band is just really good at making people feel at home and just uh, welcome in our community. I think our school is a little underestimated a little bit because of where we are and like the stigma I guess comes with our school but all of these people here I can honestly say are my friends and I love them all and we all care really a lot about what we're doing so it'd be nice to bring people to see it. All right, Central Ohio, we want to hear from you. Grab your phone. The push notification is coming. Who do you think is worthy of the Band of the Week title? Go to NBC4i.com slash join right now and pick Grandview Heights or Franklin Heights. We will be visiting the winning band during their football game tomorrow night to live stream their entire halftime performance. It'll be on our website, app, and Facebook page. Be sure to vote for your favorite team right now. We'll check on the results during the 6 p.m. newscast.